-hmm. how to make sure that you don't have uh, an early birth either. Yeah, so we, yeah, you switch the, yeah, we switch, he's, the third trimester. He, yes, I've switched already at 28 weeks to now two and two. Yep. And then he'll tell me what I'm supposed to do later. <laughs> I forget. <laughs> but then I'll, and then I'll go back to the full course during the breastfeeding. Yeah. So, yeah, so it's been um, a bit of a journey, but uh, next time I'll, I'll remember just to talk to Paul. Mm -hmm. So that's my story. So I'm a big believer and uh, happy to hopefully have you back to my cancer clinics again and yes. get back on that. Bed. Well, and I mean, standing here looking at you, I'd have to say this much. The proof is in the pudding. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. It is true. Right there. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> yes. Thanks, Paul. Thanks. I'm going to stay for a little bit. Yes, just for absolutely. I'd just like to comment on a, a couple of those things, and that is we do know from the research that basically when you have a child today that it takes about two years for fatty acid levels to get back to where they should be. And that is because the demand on fat by the baby to develop properly, not only in the womb, but afterwards through breast milk. They now know that um, the baby is pulling about 11 grams a day of good fats from the breast. Okay? So it is no wonder when 90 plus percent of the food that's eaten by people today that's processed, the fats in it are dead. They are not worth anything to the baby or the mother. And so what's happening is, is the women can't express milk. Because we've got five or six now. Some of them who took, you know, had been trying for eight years to get pregnant as they got pregnant, kept them on the fats, and in six months had two and a half years in the freezer. I mean, I should hook them up with these people that are switching milk back and forth, for God's sake, you know, around the planet. But that's all it is. And the reason for a lot of that is, and the problems that mothers are having with postpartum depression and, and the mothers that are, are going bizarre as far as killing their kids and that, they know from studies and research on these people's brains in England that the brain has shrunk up to, up to 7 and 8 percent. What is happening is the baby is going, I need these long chain, what we call LC PUFAs, long chain fatty acids. It's actually pulling them out of the brain of the mother. Because what happens is, just like in every other animal out there, who gets left short-changed, people? Not the baby. Not if the mother has what it needs, it's gone. And every woman here that's had a baby <coughs> knows that instinctively, okay? So why did she have her first baby a little earlier? Well, the same reason my wife did, okay, is, and that is skew too much the omega-6. The omega-6 is critical, okay? to build the placenta and build the tissues of the body. But it's the omega-3s in the last trimester that are critical for the development along with the omega-6s for the uh, building the brain and the nervous system. So you go from about a 3 to 1 on the omega-6 to omega-3, and, and the derivatives is a certain ratio in here too to about a one-to-one -one ratio on the omega-3 and omega-6 for the last trimester. That way you'll be bang on. And just to understand how powerful these things are, this is to produce something actually called prostaglandin 1. And this is important because this, this is, you know what's happened. I mean, if you look over the last 10 or 15 years, more and more women can't get pregnant. More and more billions of dollars are being spent. We're bringing more and more children into the world with health issues because of fertility clinics. More and more women are having miscarriages. More and more women are, can't breastfeed. This is all it's about, folks, the fats. And so this prostaglandin 1 here on the omega-6 chain, this is critical for opening the blood vessels, regulating blood flow, and a lot of these things. Well, that's all about building a placenta. I mean, if all of these squares are in place, there's no problem. I remember speaking up in Fergus a couple of years ago, and a lady was sitting there in the front, and she already spent, you know, who knows how many hundred thousand of OHIP dollars, and this and that, and everything else, and she'd been trying for 10 years, and she was there with her mother, and I bet her a hundred dollars that she'd be pregnant within four months. If she took three FMO and a cod of royal. 86 days she was pregnant. And yet I'm still waiting to try and collect the hundred though. <laughs> but, and of course the mother thought I was, you know, an idiot, you know, like a, you know, from a, a witch doctor or something, whatever. But uh, it's important that you understand all that. 
And where 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 uh, Jody got in trouble <coughs> was she's part of the system. She believes all the system, or she did to a degree. And what happened is, you know, she got off the fats, got away from doing this and that. Next thing you know, she's having some problems with them. I could have told her that she'd be vomiting because she needed more fats to get back to the level to support the development of the fetus to begin with. In other words, she got pregnant too early relative to her metabolism. And because she's Irish background, Irish people, Scottish people, these are major carnivores, if you look back in the history. They used to eat tons and tons every day of organ meats. So they got lots and lots of omega-6 and omega-3 fatty acids and derivatives. So they have a sluggish enzyme system in, in this. Well, we've moved as a population away from eating, and so most Irish, away from eating hogus and kidneys and, and liver and brain and whatever every day to uh, leaner cuts of meat. And of course, then they tell you no fat, low fat out there. And so what happens is bingo. So you could have foreseen this if we taught. The sad part is she goes in there to give her this diagnosis, this and that. You can't have a baby anymore. You can't do this. You can't get pregnant. You're going to die, da, 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 and everything else. And that's when all of a sudden I found out about it, just phoning Ira one day to say, how's it going? And I heard all this, and I couldn't believe it. So we got her off the drugs, put her back on everything. All of a sudden, this and that, and now she's a miracle. You know, I'm so tired of creating miracles, and nobody listens. <laughs>